That's how we're going to start episode 101. I'm Bill Cyrus. So I have a pretty good idea what, what you're thinking, or at least some of you are thinking, is what does that skateboard clip have to do with this video? Well, I want to start this video off with a, a little segment on what happens next. I had a great, I had a lot of fun doing episode 100. Um, I worked on it really hard, did some, some things in it. I think it came out pretty well. So where do we go from here? Well, the first thing I want to do is I want to I want to introduce more uh, variety in the, in the vlogs and the videos and, and the how tos and the motivationals. Uh, I want to have a little more variety, and and the skateboard is, is an example of that. It was it's just a a fun way to get things started, do things a little bit differently. I want to continue to do that. Um, I really am, have been impressed with the video quality that the GoPro comes up with. So I want to figure ways of working that in uh, to the. To the episodes more not like I'll be jumping off of buildings into piles of garbage or anything like that but maybe using it to capture some ambient video some b-roll stuff while I'm doing the talking head shots the second thing in the where do we go from here uh, point of view is story now story is not always fiction but but story is a a beginning middle and end concept and I want to make sure that vlogs and inspirational videos, that they all sort of have the, the arc in them. That there's something that, that has a, a point, um, you know, even if it's just a day in the life kind of thing, that there is some arc to the video, that there's a, a, a story to it. Because as, at the end of the day, that is much more important than uh, cool B-roll or uh, amazing scenes and segues and transitions. Uh, the, having some meaning and having some purpose for the video seems like that's the that's the, the the crowning jewel of a good of a good video. The third thing I want to do is make sure that, that I continue to have quality video audio and I want to have good music and I want to use it the right music at the right time in the right way. So I want to I want to continue to to make sure the production quality uh, stays as high as it can. And in the last 100 episodes, uh, I think I've really developed some, some improved uh, production techniques. And, and so I think that that's a direction that I'm going to continue to go on. The next thing I think I would like to see in the channel is that I would like to, um, I would like to have some, some guest appearances and do some collaborations. This is something I've, I've had in my mind and wanted to do for a while. I haven't really been able to work that out. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, uh, there's probably some way that we can work that out. Um, even if you're not in the Northwest Indiana area, there's ways of collaborating that, that don't necessarily mean we have to be in the same place at the same time. A fifth thing is, um, I really, I really, the way my mind works and the and the way I sort of live my life, the the, the random drop-in things like recently I, I found this rubber stamp for eyebrows. Just dropping those in occasionally. Uh, I don't know. They just it just catches me and makes me laugh, and so um, I want to continue to do that, throw in these little random drop-in things. No, I'm not. No. It, it's a boiled egg thing where you crack the egg and then boil it. it is, is this something we, is this, is this something that makes life better? I suppose you could argue that, you know, peeling an egg, this this solves that peeling the egg problem. I don't know. That's all. As I'm going back to the Tahoe, um, I'll get out of here and get back to the Tahoe. I want to mention one more thing that um, the, well, the Tahoe is going to continue to be a character in, in these videos, uh, at least for a little while longer. And... And as it has been in the past, the channel, I want the channel to continue to be something that offers inspirational thoughts or motivational thoughts or life lessons. And, and I think that, that I have really kind of developed that voice. Um, my, my second son, Nathan, said this to me, and this is one of the, one of the things on which I, I really kind of hang this channel. He said, he said, Dad, you are gifted with, with the ability to take complex 
ideas and principles and make them make sense and make them easy to understand. And those words that, that he said to me have been like kind of the, the guiding star for, for the channel. I want to take ideas that are maybe complex and make them accessible and understandable. So, so that's kind of what uh, the direction the channel is going to go, what happens next. Now what happens next in this particular video, you have to stick around and find out. I want to take a second and, and dip again into my uh, text messages for uh, a little bit of content. Again, uh, a text from my, from my oldest son, and in this text he, he observes that it takes a special kind of person to use a selfie from Walmart as their profile picture. No offense against Walmart, I shop there, it's a great place, but you do have to think about the kind of person that would that would take a selfie at Walmart and think that was the best they could do to represent themselves to the whole world. This is my selfie from Walmart. This is this is who I am. I don't know. I just thought it was funny and I thought I'd share it because that's kinda that's kinda what I do. I <laughs> share share things. So hope uh yeah. End of segment. Well, well, I'm back at the library, which is probably kind of a risky, risky behavior. But as far as I know, it's open. And I uh, came to the library on purpose this time. Uh, I always come to the library on purpose. It's not like I just wandered to the library that time when, when the police came. And, but the library is open now, so I don't think I'm trespassing. came to the library because Libraries kind of represent the, the collective knowledge of, of society, the collective knowledge of culture, the collective knowledge of history. And, and that's going to factor into to what I'm going to talk about here. In, in the Walmart clip, some people probably like, oh, you were judgmental, you were judging that person for taking their selfie at Walmart. And, and, and I was. And then there's the other mentality, like, judgment is always wrong, judgment, no, oh, we shouldn't judge. I want to. I don't, I don't necessarily agree. I want to talk about judgment. And this will kind of be the serious learning part of the video. Judgment is, is something that, that is, is a necessary component. It doesn't always call it judgment. It's not always called judgment. Sometimes it has, the, in different contexts, somebody call it, sometimes it's called mentoring. Sometimes it's called coaching. Sometimes it's called teaching. Sometimes it's called parenting. But judging what another person does is an absolutely essential aspect of making them better. It's not to be cruel, it's not to be unkind, it's not to be mean, it's not to be I'm better than you are because you know your shirt's green. But judgment is a necessary step in the improvement process. Without judgment everything is okay. So we're sitting around going mm, that's fine, that's okay, that's okay, that's okay, nah, that's pretty good. And we never change anything because everything is not judged. And if we don't judge anything, we're still sitting, you know, we're still huddling under the, the eaves of a cliff, rubbing sticks together, trying to make a fire. Judging is the first step in determining that there's a better way to do something. And determining that there's a better way to do something is the first step in doing it better. If you've ever played on a team, your coach is judging the whole time. It's like, ah, your, your elbow's too, not in the right place, or oh, you're gonna keep your head down when you, whatever, your coach is jugging. Oh, it's point your toes, I don't know. Divers and gymnasts or something, point their toes, I think. I think they do. Judging is not, oh, judging is bad, judging is bad. See, that's robot arms. You see, a robot does what it's programmed to do, and if everyone in society is programmed to say judging is bad, then everybody's walking around going, don't judge anything, everything's fine, don't say anything, stop. There are good ways to do things, and there are better ways to do things, and then there are bad ways to do things. And, and, and in the photography club, we do this a lot. We'll look at each other's pictures and go, oh, you could have done this better. Oh, the, this would have been nice, except for you had that you know, garbage can in the background. You could Photoshop that out or move it before you take the picture. We judge each other's pictures. I judge my videos and say, well, I probably should have put that on a tripod. That would have been better. Oh, I forgot to put the, S, the ND filter on. Judging is the first step in determining that something could be better. Now again, I want to reiterate, I want to go out on this point. You don't judge to be mean to somebody. You don't judge to, to be critical. You don't judge to make yourself feel better and make them feel worse. You judge as a way of saying, 
this is a situation that is not as good as it could be and I, I want to call to the uh, your attention that there is room for improvement there's there's a growing edge to this situation we don't necessarily judge like oh vanilla is better than chocolate that is, those are opinion matters but you say well you know your ice cream your ice cream is going to be better if it wasn't you know room temperature because if it was room temperature it would be a puddle it wouldn't be ice cream see you can judge on some things like the ice cream should be cold not room temperature okay enough I think you get the point. So here's a surprise about the iPhone 8 Plus. I guess it's not really a surprise if you actually paid attention to the specs. The rear facing camera has image stabilization. And these library uh, B-roll segments that I shot were all handheld with me walking around on the 8 Plus using in image stabilization. So I'm kind of like, what? I didn't, that's, mm, that's sweet. We're going in. We need softener salt. Mission accomplished. Well, that's going to bring episode 101 to a close. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did enjoy it, please click the like button. Leave me a comment or a question or anything like that down in the comment section below. Share this video with someone else who also might enjoy it. Also, share this channel with someone who, who might like this kind of content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in episode 102. Let's get out of here before the cops come. Because I'm at the library. <laughs> it's private property on Sunday. Private property on Sunday. Anyway, ah, uh, duck under the tree. I probably need some B-roll. <laughs>